Hello everybody and welcome back to Staxel, where I have this horrible feeling that I, I was going to do something and now I can't remember what it is. So what have we got today? So watermelons are growing nicely. I think we have watered them pretty much every day, so I think we'll probably be okay with them. These tomatoes are all ready to be harvested. So that means that today we shall be able to make some salads. Hoorah. One salad for every tomato harvested. Fantastic. And there will be lots of tomatoes harvested. We've got three rows of them, so that's 90. 90 salads. You do the maths of I think it's almost a thousand per salad. Could end up with a good 70, 80k today if we play our cards right. So I will quickly pop over and uh, check on all the animals and then I'll probably spend lots of the day making salad. already fantastic these do take a bit to harvest because they harvest individually a bit like the cucumbers and I don't want to destroy the plant by trying to use the sickle on them or anything like that there's one missing I think I'd resigned myself to that though Okay, so I'm going to get what I've got so far chopping because it'll take a while. Hey Tilly, how you doing? Right, you start doing that. Did I have a cake in the oven? I did! I've got like four cakes I can sell today. Amazing! That's like six thousands worth of cake. Before I even start on the tomatoes and stuff. Ah, amazing. So I don't think I'll quite have 90. I'll have eight, maybe 80 something. But yes, our plans are starting to come together. Especially our cake based plans. I'll have to get the recipe for like carrot cake and things like that as well. There's an achievement for making every different type of cake. So that's pretty good, huh? Let's put these in and uh, get these cutting as well because this is the last ingredient we need. We have cucumber, we have cabbage, we have lettuce. And I think we need to combine them all on a combining table or mix them in a mixing table. I'm not sure which one of the two. And we've got some strawberries. Sometimes it seems like I get more than one per bush, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, you sometimes get two. Which is kind of cool considering I already destroyed some of my plants, so you know, always helps to have more than one. Yeah, look, we've got a full 30 even though we're missing like three plants. Fantastic! We'll sell those two. So we're on 13,000 already. And we've got sunflowers to get too. My goodness, this is going to be a good day. And we've got tree seeds as well oh my goodness okay so we're going to be planting some apple trees today wow so many things to do oh and these all ready to be harvested too i need to start making jam but at the moment i'm just going to stick with my salads 
So uh, I think I've been saving these up on, on my shelf for such a time as I might uh, want to make some jam. So I'll add those to there, add those to there. So we've got like 14 or 15, 14 blueberries, 14 raspberries, fantastic. Got some bacon, wool, all sorts of stuff. But yes, mostly I'm happy about the tomatoes, so amazing. Okay, I'm going to go see my animals before it gets uh, too far past midday, because otherwise the eggs sometimes decide to disappear. And then I do need to go and check my honey hives as well. Honey hives? My beehives. Aha, you thought you could sneak that egg away from me, didn't you? So, how are we doing for food? I bet you I've run out. I always run out of food. Oh no, we have some chicken food. Okay. Do we have any trough food? No, and the troughs are empty. We need to go to town and get trough food because I'm an idiot and I didn't buy any more. At least I don't think I did. No, I didn't. My idiocy still stands. So maybe what we should do is just grab all the bits and pieces from around the farmyard, like all these snails and stuff, and we could sell them in town and the flies. Where's my bug net? Oh, there it is. It's already on my hotbar. I got a little bit of money from these guys. Yeah, this farm is finally starting to look how I imagined it would look about 17 episodes ago. But it's not too bad. Mushrooms. Loads of flies around. I think the bees drive them off. I don't know if that's how it works. I'm not sure. I need to get more flour so I can make more cakes. Those cakes are awesome. You get so much money for them. <gasps> Got 14 pats of butter there, so I'm guessing that that's uh, meant to be for making cakes with. Mm. Pickaxe, that's what I was looking for. Okay, guys, I have come to pick up your poops. And see how you're doing. Mulligan is fine. Zangiria is fine. Ixias is good, doing cool. Fantastic. We can definitely, definitely afford some more chickens and stuff like that later. That'll be really good. I'm enjoying how this is looking now, apart from the fact that I still haven't actually... I still haven't put the paths in. Really should do that, shouldn't I? Bug net. Is the bug net gone now? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go into town. We're gonna get some trough food. Maybe some tilly food as well, because I haven't seen... I can't see whether I've got any of that left. And then we're going to have, we can maybe, if I get time, have a little look. Because someone was saying in the comments that they think that the, the only thing I need to do is build a little retaining wall between the museum and the uh, bakery. So I could kind of try and split the building in two a little bit. That would probably help. So just an internal wall would, would be enough. Uh, blue butterfly... Cricket. Anything else I want to sell? Everything else I pretty much want to keep, I think. So, cricket. Butterfly. Snails. And then I want to buy... A bit of pet food. And a bit of trough food if we've got some. Yes, we do. So that's four to put in the troughs and four spare. And back we go. Perfect. Time for tea. 
Well, what class is for tea? I'm drinking decaf because it's late at night. I don't want to be up half the night. Right then, cows, we'll feed you and then we'll go and harvest all those sunflowers. Oh, I missed a snail, darn it. Because we don't want hungry cows. The pig will be fine. We would not have a hungry pig, we would just have hungry cows. Oh, and I missed selling that butterfly as well. There we are, guys. You happy with that now? I'm not happy with that. You know why? I still feel that this barn is really unfinished. I probably lost the food there, but I don't even care. There we are, look, that's actually in line with the other ones now. Hurrah. Even just doing that makes it look a hundred times better, doesn't it? That one floor tile as well oh, must be really annoying for so many people. Okay, I want to do watering next and then I'll, I'll do sunflower harvesting in a minute because sunflower harvesting is probably easier to do than watering in darkness. And it is starting to, uh, the light starting to get lost now. I really hope we can pull off this watermelon harvest. I really, really do. I have been trying really hard to water them ever since. People were saying, you can't do it, Sheila. So that seems to all be done. Cool. Let's get these cucumbers. Do I grab them before they lose the light? They look to all be done as far as I can see. Tomatoes, important ones, very important ones. The eggplant basically takes half the summer to grow, so you need your autumn harvests of that. I think we might get our first harvest of it tomorrow. Then again, I don't know whether we... Um, we don't think we put them in on the first day of summer, so... Sorry, yeah, the first day of summer. I don't think we put them in on the first day of summer. I think it was later, so... That's okay. Are these due to be harvested? No, they're not. Okay. Gotta be careful with watering those, so they will hopefully be a harvest tomorrow. Those are gonna be harvested in a minute, so are those. I'm not gonna bother with watering those. And then I'll need to get some more sunflowers to plant in on the morrow. I love sunflowers, they're really, really cool because you don't have to worry at all about the seasons. Just plant them in and uh, they grow all year round, even in the winter. Hopefully the sugar cane will be ready pretty soon as well. And uh, then we'll be looking at what to plant for the autumn season. Probably not eggplants, but anything that's kind of just takes a few days to grow and can be planted in both the summer and the autumn uh, season, I will be 100% planting that in so that I can just make, take advantage of those few days. Because otherwise you've got to sort of start winding everything down, which I hate. It was great growing so many um, lettuces in between spring and summer. It was so good. Okay, so we'll get another 13k tomorrow. Tilly, how are you doing? Glowing with life. That's what I like to hear. So why haven't you brought me any presents lately then? Is that because you're a rubbish cat? I thought so. Is it because you don't love me? I thought so. Okay, last job of the night then. And as I say, I won't get much building done today, but never mind. We had a lot of harvests to do. The very last thing to do is to just harvest up these sunflowers. And once I have harvested those, I will go to bed. that one done. 
it's already just double check i like to double check without the sickle active because it has given me false positives before And the last thing I want to do is to um, harvest a sunflower that was like one day away from being ripe. Or fully grown, I suppose, in the case of sunflowers, because they don't really get ripe, do they? They just grow or don't grow. There we are, so we've got three, four, four strips that I need to plant in tomorrow. Let's have a little look and see if there's anything that I can do. I've got 30 sunflower seeds exactly, which is perfect. 60 sunflowers that I can sell. So we're 22,000 tomorrow, and that's without even starting on the salads, because I haven't even had a chance to start on those yet. Oh my goodness me. So, I want to have a look at seeds, and I want to see what kind of seed. It's great, I can type seed with just my left hand on the keyboard. What grows? in summer and spring, autumn and winter. Spring and winter. Summer and autumn. Carrots. Autumn, spring and summer. Summer and autumn eggplant. Autumn. This is onion. Potato. carrot seemingly summer and autumn sugar cane oh you know what let's just do like 60 sugar cane then that'll grow all autumn in fact we could do even more than that we could do uh, 120 so we could get all four sugar cane can't afford it you can't afford this How much do they cost? 120 times 120. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. How much would the would how much would 60 cost? That'd be about a thousand. No, it can't afford that much. Okay. I'll be able to afford it tomorrow though, so how about we order 30 today? And then tomorrow when we get all of our money in, we'll we'll reevaluate. So Let's have a look at how to make salad. Hopefully you can just do that quickly before we uh, collapse for the night. So the recipe page. Basic salad, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, cabbage. Process, cut lettuce, cut tomato, cut, oh, done all of that. And then combine all of them on a combining thing. Tomato, lettuce, cucumber, cabbage. Yeah, okay, cool. Give me my chopped tomatoes. We've got 84 of those. Uh, lettuce, cucumber. Okay, so here we are on the combining station. So we've got tomato. I need these to be on my hotbar. Lettuce, cucumber, and cabbage. Okay, so we've got the basic salad. right clicking four million times so if I've got 10 salads and we're going for 22,000 at the moment I'm hoping that I'll go up to somewhere around 30 oh no knock me out somewhere around 30,000 but it will not do that anymore because it's a new day so let's see if we put these salads in here. I've got all my sugarcane seed. Hurrah! 9,600. So it's 960 per salad. And we are going to have a lot of salads. Oh, how many salads are we going to have? Loads and loads and loads. Combining malarkey is taking a while though. Okay, 
Is there no like combine all button? Let's do one at a time. I do like 20 today. I'm going to get like 20,000 of it. Out of it. I haven't had any time with doing all of this to uh, work on the patisserie slash museum. None at all. So that'll be 28,000 just from salads. Yeah. I knew it was worth keeping all those salad ingredients. Oh, apparently I have a mail as well. Look, there's a little mail icon. I don't know how long that was there for. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of the letter is formed of unintelligible scribbling. I'm taking it that uh, that maybe means that uh, Maya wants some ice cream. Not Maya. Rhea. She says Mia. <laughs> so, so I'm like, yes, her name must be Maya. No, it is not. So we can plant in all these sugarcane seeds this morning. And then we're going to buy loads more. Probably another 120. And then we'll be able to have so much sugar. We will be so hyper. Missed a bit somewhere. There we are. Okay, so some of these are a bit behind. Must have missed them with watering at some point. So I'll stick them on the chopper as well. Then we'll go see all the animals, see how they're doing. Looks like we got some more cake mix ready to go there as well. Sugar and cake batter. So those will need to go in the oven in a minute. Did I have any more cake batters in my inventory? Make sure I didn't. No, I guess I must have just left them on the side. That's what all those butters are for, for making the cake batter. So anyway, yeah, cakes are really, really good. Surprisingly good. Eggplant's still not ready. Cucumber's not ready. Oh, look at these guys. All ready to go on their own. Look at this, you've got little melons growing already. Fantastic. I'm watering every square. I'm not taking any chances with these. These are worth a lot of money. It does look like when I water one, it waters the other. I'm still not taking any chances. I'm watering everything. Every little hole in this thing is getting watered. Because these watermelons cost me a fortune to plant, so I'm, I'm really hoping I don't have any trouble with that. Okay, so there's a load of stuff that I can pick up. I also did not plant my apple seeds. I think that would be a good thing to do. I might need to hoe a patch for them though. I don't know how much space they need to grow or anything. I don't know anything about trees. I hope I don't get it wrong. Um... So I was thinking to maybe start in the back corner over here and just start planting trees. Like maybe here. Actually maybe I'll just like hoe a little row along. And I'll see how close together I can plant them. I'm hoping that the game won't let me plant them too close together. I'm hoping it won't be that mean. Needs more space to grow. Needs more space to grow. Okay. Let's try this. Ah. I see. This is how they work. So I think I'll just like leave a little gap between each one. So, and start on my orchard. 
And that'll be perfect, I think. I don't know how much watering needs to happen on these. I'll have a row of apple trees and then I'll have a row of whatever the next thing I want to do is. I'll probably leave a little bit of a gap between each row of trees so that I can walk in between them easily and stuff. This plant does not need to be watered. Perfect. Thank you very much, game. So I can just leave those be now. Talking about bees. I haven't checked on my bees in a while, have I? Or many of my animals, to be honest. But yeah, this is starting to fill out beautifully, isn't it? I'm so happy. barn is, you know, at some point going to get finished. I might even put a window in it. And I might even get rid of these yellow bricks and put something a little bit nicer down. I, don't, I still don't know what yet. Okay, seeing as I'm over here, let's uh, collect all the eggs. And give the chickens some chicken food. I don't think they need it. Hungry chickens, it's hard work making eggs, isn't it? I'm getting so much money from making cakes. I need something that's uh, that's a recipe with bacon. I th I'm sure there's loads of them. I'm gonna go through and like once I've got loads of money from all these salads, I'm just gonna go through and like buy every recipe I can. It's gonna be ridiculous how many recipes I have. In fact, I wanna I wanna get some recipes right now. And just a disclaimer before any of you say I told you that recipe. I want to try and buy them as much as possible. Just because. So, recipe. Baked potato with cheese. Mushroom. Takayaki. Sh white sugar, I know. The problem is it'll tell me ones I already know. An ice cream recipe. I know someone that wants ice cream. Blueberry jam. Why is my mouse doing that little whirly whirly thing? I don't like that. Strawberry jam. Raspberry jam. Dragon fruit jam. Lemon marmalade. I bet these are all jar sugar fruit. Let's get the blueberry jam recipe. Right, I'm going to order blueberry jam and then we'll see um, if the others follow the same rules. Vegetable soup, I think we already have the soups. Strawberry blueberry smoothie, raspberry blackberry smoothie, mango peach, apple banana. We know basic salad. These are all like block recipes, don't need those. Pancakes, maybe? Syrup. We know syrup. We know butter. We know cream. Bacon sandwich. Do we even know how to make bread, though? Cream, butter, fruit salad, egg fried rice, fried egg. Thing is, it's like, which ones do we know and which ones don't we know? Because I wish it would, um, it would tell you which ones you already had and which ones you didn't. I don't think we have scrambled egg, but that's a lot of money if we already know the recipe. But let's have a look and see if we know things like scrambled egg, carrot soup, we know porridge already, vegetable, turnip soup, we don't know boiled veggies or anything like that, mushroom risotto, we know cake, candy corn, syrup, toffee apple and two different sugar recipes. Okay. So I think one of the jam ones, carrot cake, I think would be really good. Um, bacon sandwich. One of Giri, that's rice, popcorn, sushi, scrambled egg. Those, those three, I'll get those for today. Did I get a jam recipe? I think I did, yeah. That will do, that will do. Okay, we can make some more salads.
I'll just make 10 at a time, then it won't be too boring for you guys. You gotta admit, it's pretty exciting when you can buy cool things with the with the money. Ten more salads. Selling about 40 salads today already. Wow, cool. Getting apples growing. Someone really wanted me to plant dragon fruit trees as well, so why don't we why don't we do that if we can? Tree. Banana, cherry, cocoa. I was saying I would buy ones that would uh, grow in the autumn, or fruit in the autumn, sorry. So apples were the obvious one. Bananas, no point till next year. Fruits in autumn, cherry, so we could do four cherry trees. Fruits in summer. Fruits all the time. Let's get four of those then. Fruits in autumn and that is dragon fruit. So yeah, four of those. Kiwi is also fruit in autumn. Lemon, fruits in spring, fruits in spring. Fruits in spring, fruits in spring, fruits in summer, fruits in winter, fruits in winter. So what you ideally want to do is to give them, they usually um, take just under a season to grow. So like pears take 18 days, so just over a season, a season and two days. So what you really want to be doing is to be planting the ones for the next season and hope that they fruit all the way through that season. Or as near as you can. I mean, it might be good on like the 14th of summer to start um, actually growing pears because they take so long to grow. I actually think might be useful. So we'll do a big old orchard planting. Um, it'll probably be next episode. It'll be a big old orchard planting episode. I also want to expand to uh, a row of like eight of each of these bushes. So that'd be pretty cool. So we'll just start with like four, 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 all the different kinds of trees. And then if I want to have a few more of them, I will just expand them across this way. So if I want to have eight of each or something, we can just have them all the way across almost to the bees. And then we could sort of pull the bees across as well. But at the moment we've got plenty of room for everything. So let's see, have we watered everything? We have watered. I think it's mostly watered though. We've watered this. We haven't watered anything else. So let's do that. I don't think I've milked the cows in about three days. Honestly, it's awful. I'm doing well with my planting and everything like that. So I don't mind so much. And it's going to be good if I can start getting um, the trees to fruit and make things out of that. I'm going to be very, very happy. Because I don't need to water them. I think it's the crops that you have to water that uh, do take the most looking after, though. But then they do get you the most, I think, the most money. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had any, like, apples or anything yet, so they could sell for a fortune. I don't know. Why are you asking me? Oh, yeah, no one asked me. That's right. So I've got a bunch of sunflowers I can plant, I think. Unless I already planted them. No, that sugar cane I've planted there, so. These are all ready to, to come up, so I will just replace them with the seeds that I've already bought. Didn't buy, actually, that I already harvested. I might need to buy some more as well. There's another 30 sunflowers I can sell today as well, which is amazing. 
This is a good day for selling, guys. Look at this. 42,000 in one day. This is this is where it's all happening. It's all starting now. So, I want to buy some more sugarcane seeds. And I want to buy 120 of them this time. I don't know why caps lock is on. Does not need to be. It makes me look like I'm shouting. But actually, I'm just ordering seeds. Oh, sugarcane seed. 120. Order now. What? Oh, I bought too many tree seeds. Oops. Okay, we'll buy them tomorrow with our 42,000. I want all those tree seeds and I want all those recipes, so... Tough. <laughs> okay. Right, have we done everything? No, I have not. Not by a long shot. Now being a typical Shilab and forgetting everything. So, yeah, I'm waiting for a rainy day, I guess. <laughs> when I don't have to water everything to... Uh, to go and check out the museum slash patisserie and see if I can make it work as a, mu as a museum and a patisserie instead of just a patisserie which is how it's working at the moment so I guess I'm gonna plant down these sunflower seeds and water them I don't know if I will have time to even go and look at that patisserie slash museum building like I say I did want to give the museum its own building eventually but uh, at the moment I think it has to share okay let's run over there so have I got any bricks at the moment no I've got dirt I could put a dirt wall up it's not ideal but it would allow me to um, have a proof of concept Hang on. If this is not the museum, what's Vorland doing there? <gasps> it works! Guys, I just had to re-log. So it all totally works. Vorlin has been in here. Amazing. So I need like another 50 or so of these. Oh, look. Look how much nicer those little displays all look now as well. All the little recipes on there. Strawberry pie, vegetable pie. Are those even in the shipping catalogue? I don't know if they are. Baking powder, white sugar. So we'll put those down and then we'll put the um, rest of the floor in and then we'll be able to put the tables in and then Vorlin and Amelia can live happily ever after in their patisserie slash whatever. Um, also, I need I really need to just be buying cobblestone pretty much every day because there's so much stuff that is missing cobblestone right now. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm so happy that it's all working. So how much uh, cobblestone could I buy with the amount of money I have left? Cobblestone path. They cost two each, so I could get a thousand of them. Yeah, 999 will be fine. Thank you very much. I'm going to probably need it all. Okay, guys, so I think I've done everything now. Everything I need to do. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't uh, milked the cows or got the honey in or even i think i collected the eggs possibly let's see do i even have the milking machine on me no i do not i have the shears on me let's go get the milker hmm oh i did have it on me okay cool i was like it's gone missing no So this is really good milk to make cream and I can make cakes and stuff like that with it. Ixius is wool. I can only really make carpet blocks with it. So I think I might actually be better off just selling the wool. Doesn't seem to be a, a ton of stuff that I can make a massive profit with. So we'll just sell it. See how much 16 wool goes for. Four... 42,000 up to 44,000. Well, that was okay. Don't mind if I do. So this has been a really good day, actually. It's been a fantastic day. I spent all my money now. So I think it's the end of this fantastic day. Let's chop those tomatoes up. Um, we've got cakes to put in the oven as well. Oh man, such a busy day. And I've got honey to sell too. Wow. 
Where did that come from? Put these cakes in the oven. Apparently I can only put one in at once. So we'll bake cakes till the end of the day, I think. I can be a bit... A bit weird sometimes. You have to click the exact right part of the oven, otherwise you take the cake back out. It's rather unfortunate. Ah, making cakes, it's so therapeutic. To throw those electronics in the bin. Never managed to quite find a way to get that to work, did I? And that's my last cake. So if I can sell the honey and the cakes before it gets to night, I might end up making 50,000. Be amazing. Okay. Got enough room for them? Yes, we do. Honey. Four cakes. Yes, 51,000 in one day. This is the awesomest day ever. Oh, everything is paying off, and I haven't even finished with the salad yet. That's, the salads are so good. So yes, salads and cakes are the way forward, guys. And also, like, trees are being planted now, so I'm going to be able to cook all sorts of cool stuff with the fruit. Oh, it's going to be so good. And then I'm going to be able to buy so much stuff. I'm going to get all the recipes, and then I can buy new animals, and I can call them after you guys, and then I can buy loads of blocks to make cool buildings. And yeah, I think we're getting to the point where it's gonna, we're going to be quite rich quite soon. And then I'll just get the farm to the point where I want it and then we probably will put the game down because there's only going to be so much that I can do before the farm I feel is kind of complete but that's definitely going to be a good few episodes down the line so I hope you enjoyed uh, this particular episode and if you did then please do leave me a thumbs up below if you'd like to see more Staxel please subscribe hit bells and all the usual whistles and I can then let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome